Hello, this is Branko Malic of Kali Tribune with a new video uh, in which we'll consider a bit not what media doesn't tell you as uh, most of these alt-independent media people like to introduce uh, the videos or podcasts well, we'll talk about what alternative media does tell you <laughs> and I think it is a uh, pretty stupid and I'll try to make a point that this phenomenon of alt media is coming to a point of complete absurdity and it as a cohesive uh, movement let's call it like that it has reached has reached its uh, point of termination or at least it deserves it the reason why I indulge this uh, uh, these problematics uh, is not so much uh, to criticize size people, although they do deserve it, uh, but uh, to to make a point about uh, uh, further developments uh, uh, with the uh, aid of internet technology, that is to say, with the aid of internet as a mean of promulgation of materials. And that uh, alternative media, or what was recently called alternative media, is something one should forget about. <laughs> now, this is, as some of you probably know, Canadian-based website uh, founded by Professor Michel. Uh, I have... Uh, the worst possible opinion about this site because it is extra <laughs> it has this uh, veneer uh, kind of maybe the better word uh, would be uh, uh, it displays an illusion of some kind of academic res respectability coupled with a rebellious attitude but it is neither rebellious not academically re respectable I know that uh, most because I, I followed their coverage of the history of ex-Yugoslavia, Croatia, Serbia, Bosnia, Kosovo, and so on, uh, places, a place where I live, and events through which some of I lived through in the 90s. And uh, I discovered that uh, Mr. Shusudovsky and uh, he, I mean personally, and some people publishing on this site and some people related to his projects are downright liars uh, not 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 merely uh, misinformed uh, but intentionally misinforming and i think that alt media is in this respect for large part a misinformation vehicle either by oversaturation with information or classical political propaganda Anyway, we we'll, we won't go we won't go too much into what global research is because the the, the character of articles they publish uh, tells everything about them and one of those is this. Beings, oh, can't believe this. Written by one Andre Vicek. I will quote something from this article then we'll discuss it and then we'll discuss a reaction to this by some some personages and it will be I think very interesting so quote goes when I think about North Korea what first comes to my mind is a mist over the calm and majestic surface of the Taedong River near Pyongyang next I always recall two lovers locked in a tender and almost desperate embrace, sitting by, side by side on the shore. I saw them every day, while taking brisk walks at dawn. Now I don't know for sure whether they were real or just a product of my fantasy, a sad and gentle reminder of all that has been already lost, as well as of all that should have happened but never really materialized. Currently, as Donald Trump, Armada, is speeding towards China and DPRK, I keep recalling those moments. The cliff 
the lovers and the lone fisherman with his long road at the other side of the river everything in my memory connected to those dawns is now motionless serene that would suffice End quote. so this is this is the author who loves just loves north korea i see a picture of musician is not in north korea i mean it can be bad country with such musicians don't you think as combination of police woman and politician look at these fine roads look at this beautiful beautiful can't go wrong with the roads like this and no heavy traffic oh japanese oh i'm speechless uh Anyway, uh, the man is uh, further down the line. He is in 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 uh, uh, some kind of quasi-politic lang language, trying to make a point that uh, American Empire is about to attack, but it will of course not attack North Korea, and uh, he is trying to defend this uh, noble country with so noble regime and the most progressive probably the most progressive political <laughs> system in the world from the big bad usa and so uh, for anybody uh, of uh, at least a uh, moderately mature mindset it is already obvious with with what kind of what kind of idiot we are dealing here uh and I, I get sometimes comments that I'm maybe uh, too heavy-handed uh, with people with such uh, uh, derogatory comments. But uh, I'm sorry, but this kind of, of, of advocacy of country like this, just because it is a, it is a small totalitarian regime uh, threatened by a big... Uh, let's call it liberal democratic empire i mean this is idiocy because this is this uh, shows uh, first thing inability uh, to put things in perspective and the other thing which is in fact the theme of our talk here uh, the urge to run from oneself something that is uh, very very uh, symptomatic uh, for a developed West and petty bourgeois or upper mi middle class to upper middle class uh, intellectuals from the West, all down from the 60s of the previous century, uh, with Maoist, Western Maoist fighting for the right of absolutely free speech <laughs> and such contradictions to what we call now alternative media because alternative media is built on this mindset but with the added value that it is uh, really uh, coming to a, biz a rather bizarre point of going completely over the top in this urge of people to run from themselves and covering this urge in advocacy of for instance countries like North Korea or some other countries you have in this Syria uh, Syria advocacy movement, which is uh, which is completely justified in its existence because Syria, in my opinion, and a rather well-informed opinion from the first-hand sources, although I never have been in Syria, it is really a country that was uh, that was targeted for destruction, mainly by the West. But nevertheless, in these circles also you have this mindset uh, that already, as far as I can see, has eaten up those circles. Now, let's see something, a comment of these articles, which is very interesting. Now, this is from one Facebook, Facebook website group, where they comment on this crap. Uh, one uh, commenter noted. On this place of North Korea. Well, you better be prepared to give up half of your house, use less oil, electricity, water. There'll be no more obese Americans either, because there won't be 
throats of food on every street corner. America thrives because they rape, pillage and plunder everywhere. But North Korea is a disgusting hellhole full of starving, miserable wretches. Andre's essay is a load of overt, sentimentalized twaddle. Now, this comment is also uh, relying on stereotypes, because uh, image of North Korea in Western media is probably, to a large extent, sexed up in a negative uh, direction. But nevertheless, if you think that everything you see in media or hear from other people or sense with your common sense is a lie, I'll go read their constitution and <laughs> try to deduce what kind of country this is. But nevertheless, she pointed out that North Korea is not uh, Arcadia, <laughs> this which a guy is trying to portray. And now the comments of these <clears throat> people who are, by the way, uh, adherents of alt media and uh, advocates of all those freedoms, uh, alt media advocates. Now, Sharon, how many times do we have to remind you to take your meds? You know that results when you don't. Lol. And I love Andre's over sentimentalized twaddle realism because he's a human as 95% of the world people. Uh, this is. <laughs> I can't argue with this. This is kind of sentimental argument being human uh, that covers everything. And this kind of argument is used in the, in the human rights pretext. To, to start the wars, and what is ironic, these people who I made anonymous, some of them uh, were very apt in, in, in deconstructing this uh, human rights uh, ideology West uses, for instance, NATO started to use uh, to, as a pretext for some political or military actions, but they are of the same mindset. This is sentimental, this indeed is a sentimental twaddle. But this is interesting. Now this is the name of this detracting commenter. And she is equal to Stratfor Troll. Stratfor is of course an uh, analy American analytical firm which is of course uh, completely uh, demonized by <coughs> alt media, not, not without a reason though. Every post these days has at least one. They are recognizable by coming from Texas, no friends, no photos, <laughs> she's blocked, although I have left the comment smiley. Now, what's wrong with this? What's wrong to say this about North Korea, except being a rather um, cliché comment, but based on truth, because North Korea is a completely isolated country with uh, a leader who is who is uh, um, equivalized with divinity. I had something. I remember something like this in my own, in the country of my youth that does not exist anymore. In Yugoslavia and Josip Broz Tito, who was celebrated years after his death, mostly because his image was used as a pretext to keep the country uh, together before breaking it up in the war. But uh, the principle is more or less the same. Of course, Yugoslavia was, was far more open and uh, I, I would venture to say prosperous than North Korea, but <laughs> North Korea uh, sets the bar very low. And but knowing Yugoslavia, I think that this is a, a, this is kind of this Western cliche view where you overemphasize some things. I don't think that North Korea is really such a hellhole, but it is probably very close to hellhole, and nobody of these idiots uh, would find uh, living in a rural community in North Korea very satisfying that is living in North Korea uh, by the rules uh, applied to North Koreans themselves. And th these are old globetrotters, but in their globetrotting they are remaining 
Americans, English, and so on. They are remaining Westerners while supposedly fighting the West. And this is half of my point, and I'm saying I'm very well aware that I'm saying nothing especially novel with this. Namely, from the 60s, as I pointed out, you had this Maoist fight freedom, uh, fighters for freedom of speech, but now we are coming to a point where we have something like this. Now, my friend pointed out, pointed this out. Thank you, Justin. Uh, this is uh, one of the worst, worst websites I browsed in my internet life. It is absolutely terrible. But what bring me do brings me down the most, oh, its name is, of course, Covert Geopolitics. <laughs> Uh, what brings me down the most is that this website is the epitome of alt media and it's downright terrible. We won't go much in the articles, we'll go into four. What is this? So, there is a, uh, it covers unbelievably a, a lot of, uh, a lot of topics. Let's see, geopolitics, of course. This is a Russian angle. This, this is what we got from the Russians. White Hats reporters. Nazism and Zionism, of course. It is one a very, very important aspect of alt media and conspiracy theory, out of which uh, internet conspiracy theories, uh, out of which alt media evolved, developed. I'm sorry. New World Disorder. The situation is so intense, it involves the entire U.S. government, FBI insider. There's some articles. I won't click on South China Sea. Yeah, this is this is this is Russia influenced Syria crisis. Probably we will have some Sputnik articles here. Turkey crisis. Okay, so we have economy, BRICS, of course. Yeah, BRICS and Silk New Silk Road, and now they have maritime Silk Road that will save us. The interview, the global elite. Never want you to hear corporate democracy. Uh huh. Now we have to, we, we come to sustainable development again that 2030. I wrote about it. Also, technocracy, artificial surveillance, censorship, World War Three that never, uh, that should begin every, every next week and never begins because it will never begin. Well, nobody's so crazy to start it. Okay, we have this. Oh, they have Western. And again, Nazism and Zionism, they love this. Brave New World Solution, Common Law. Now, my point why I'm not clicking on this, uh, because this is completely syncretic. This is, uh, this is eclectic, syncretic website. Uh, there are no incurable disease. Now, uh, trying to make a synthesis of everything. Of whole of the alt media, and it does it terrible. This the, uh, here you see it still more uh, uh, clearly. Revolutionaries, WikiLeaks, like hell, keep governments open with caps lock. Zeitgeist movement. The founder died, I think, a few days ago. God rest his soul. Although I don't think he will do that. Uh, international tribunals, okay, so we'll leave that for a minute. Health, of course, vaccines, resistance. Jane Burgermeister is an Austrian woman that that uh, broke the story about a bird, a swine flu, but is also, I, I would say, rather, rather a shady character, although the swine flu supposed epidemics was uh, was a really um, an attempt from uh, vaccine selling corporations to to, to, to to con people into buying their product at the, at the lowest level. This is really true, but they are trying, what I'm pointing out, they are trying to synthesize it all. Alternative media, consortium, okay, here we go, global research, Press TV, Press TV is not alternative media, it is Iranian media, and of course Russia today. 
well, it's not Russia today, now it's RT, it's more neutral, RT is a Russian uh, state channel on foreign languages and it is completely a propaganda outlet, uh, that is my opinion, that is true, but <laughs> I have to say that is my opinion in order to let people have a different opinion, if somebody is interested about this, Check out the last post on Kali Tribune. We have a comment thread of near 30 comments where people, some people are trying uh, to work around this fact, this elephant in the room that Russia today is fact, duping them. <laughs> it sure have duped me a few years ago, but nothing shameful about that. I mean, you just have to wake up to it. World economy, uh, we have, uh, this is, of course, La Rouche's, Gerard Salente, Max Kaiser also on RT, Venus Project, those are these side guys, movement idiots, which are, by the way, very close to sustainable development and technocracy kind of thinking, uh, Zero Edge, Genetics Global Research, GM Watch, that's a GMO, and this is the Juice. Occultism. Daniel Estolin, okay, let's go. David Icke, David Icke, pretty much English middle class eccentric. Uh, English middle, middle, middle class eccentric. So, David Icke is, is, is in a lot of. Uh, Respects uh, an ultimate altmedia <laughs> luminary, uh, and I think uh, by altmedia I here include uh, things like like this crap I quoted from. And in this on this website you have everything together. You have these two nutcases: Jordan Maxwell, Michael Tissarion. I don't understand these people who change their names and then pick something like this. Tessario. Swali Illuminati Whistleblower, <laughs> Illuminati Confessions, and Divine Cosmos. Uh, I mean, uh, the point of me ranting about this is not a rant, of course, but uh, uh, to point out something. Namely, this, this, this uh, uh, trash site is what alt media are now. From its name to its themes, this is what alt media, as a coherent body, as a kind of movement, achieved. It achieved that it is a mixture of post Nazi New Age ideas. That's where David Icke comes in, because a good deal of David Icke's ideas comes from the science, Nazi science fiction from the 60s and the 70s of previous century, reworked into conspiracy theories and new age and this combination of that combination of this russian state propaganda or russian oligarchist propaganda uh, which is epitomized in in insistence on geopolitics as a blanket term as a blanket in, in explanation everybody anybody interested uh, to go in depth in this i would uh, I uh, recommend checking out kali.kalitribune.com, my webpage, where you have this uh, in-depth analysis of Alexander Dugin's Foundations of Geopolitics, part one. Part two is in the works. And where I go in-depth into this. It's So, it's combination of all those things, and this is what you get. Globalism versus populism, Russians versus globalism, free speech advocates individuals in defense of North Korea, banning Stratford trolls, etc., etc. This is worthless. It is worth something to intelligence services of interested parties, probably to some extent it is interested interesting for Russians or Chinese, especially this global research uh, global research website. And this is very good for 
uh, making a lot of people, uh, convincing a lot of people that don't, they know something about everything while they know nothing about nothing, literary. And this is where it all comes down. And it is my contention that alt media as a coherent movement, uh, which found its uh, common points uh, in uh, few, uh, around few events, such was 9/11, and such was, for instance, this uh, crisis in Middle East, and so on, is now over, uh, dead and gone. All, all it, it, it morphed into, into this. And I will only, I will only hint with a very strong, very strong post-Nazi overtones, uh, because I will not go in depth into this now, but I will in other, uh, other, other articles of mine or maybe videos. Uh, um, this post-Nazism. Uh, is a very significant influence, uh, not only on New Age theories, uh, conspiracy theories, it is also uh, a distinct influence on uh, what Westerners see as a geopolitics, because a good deal of this comes via uh, people like Alexander Dugin or his uh, um, plagiarists from Russia and, and even from now from America or England or Germany. And it is uh, his geopolitics, for instance, of which I write in depth in the article, series of articles I already referred to, uh, relies upon idea of uh, getting the alternate uh, alternative ending to World War II in which the Nazi Russian, German Russian, Japanese axis won. And uh, what Dugin calls ide ideocracy is being implemented on global scale, and ideocracy he uh, sees as uh, development of the, the idea of the global rule, now I'm quoting, of Third Reich. So it's very much, uh, it's very much founded in, in this, but you have to read earlier Dugin's works, which are not translated in English, and I am <laughs> doing just that. So if you're interested into going in depth into this, follow Kali Tribune, because most of those things uh, go in writing, in writing and in audio, but writing is far more uh, far more substantial form of expression for analysis and I do recommend uh, that you check it out if you're interested. And so we come to the point to, to where we can say that alt media as a movement can be discarded completely <laughs> as anything anything worth, uh, worth your while but the internet is still here and it's very good for passing on not so much information but knowledge discussion and analysis and uh, we are coming to into situation where at least some of uh, some of us are trying to to do this without uh, being uh, co-opted by uh, bigger media platforms because alt media uh, some alt media platforms rather grew uh, in size in, in the last couple of months or uh, let's say year or two and most of them are in my opinion completely worthless by now although it, it could have gone in, in a completely other direction but I think that if in the future any any analyst let's use this term worth his salt will have to address this because uh, this uh, f uh, phenomena of alternative analysis alternative academic work and alternative media work has been uh, used as a vehicle for something else uh, something that was not intended by creators of this this work and anybody who is not addressing this problem and just going along uh, with the line that was set up 
in a way informally in the if I say so, last 15 years is 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 simply simply missing missing the historical moment. He's he's back uh, back in history. He's he's looking into dead and discarded things, discarded totally because those media morphed into this. And one interesting thing would be to understand why and what was their their purpose. And indeed, maybe they had a purpose. Maybe they were not so sp spontaneous uh, phenomena. Anyways, that's what we'll maybe check out in the future. And if you're interested, of course, as I always say, follow Kali Tribune. Thank you for your attention. This was Branko Malic of Kali Tribune signing out.